Hello guys and welcome back to another video. You're probably like, Franny, your hair is wet. What is going on? Today, we are going to put to the test a hack that I came across on Pinterest and I was just like, what? And that is diffusing your hair using a strainer. You heard me right. We are going to be using a strainer or you can also just call it like a drainer. I'm guessing also this is what I use to drain the water from my rice and pasta. But I saw on Pinterest a girl with curly hair diffusing her hair using a strainer and she said that she loved it so much more than using an actual diffuser. So we're actually going to just be doing half of the head with the diffuser tool, half using the drainer. We'll compare the differences and see if in fact we like the strainer option more. So if you would like to see the products I use and kind of just see my hair transform from this to the final look, well then just keep on watching. So before we start diffusing, I do just want to let you guys know quickly what products I use. I put in this OGX Air Dry Cream, which I really love. I like that it gives me soft curls. I am not a curly hair like expert for that check out my sister's channel Chelly's Curls she is amazing at all of that and honestly the one who even like introduced me into this whole world of how to take care of your curls so shout out to you Chelly love you and then also we have here this finishing oil serum from Shea Moisture which I absolutely love but the key product that I found literally like two or three days ago and I'm like where have you been all my life is this Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner and honey when I tell you <laughs> honey see what I did there uh when I tell you that this is what my hair needed my curls are just there i have very curly hair but my hair is just so frizzy and i know that that has to do with moisture i just didn't know what to put i was trying different things and i'm like you know what i'll just straighten it because i just i can't i can't deal with this but i put this on and honestly at on this portion of my hair i've never seen such definition with the curls that i have here after using that and i'm just like dude your hair just needs some intense moisture so i really am just trying to focus in now on just really moisturizing my hair and using the products that i feel would work best for it so this for me is just like honey you are staying with me till the end and it's like legit honey which is like insane but anyways once i apply all of that i just split my hair where i want it so just a little to the side and then with my brush i just go through it and make sure that all the product is evenly dispensed throughout all of it and then with a cotton t-shirt i kind of just scrunch so that is where we are right now so we're gonna get started i have my blower here and I also have my strainer here. Now, the girl was mentioning that she would just like kind of cup the hair up like this and then just pass the blower through and just kind of let it dry that way. So that's what we're going to do. Since I want to show you guys the difference, I am going to just split my hair this way. We're kind of already a little on the drier side. My hair dries fairly uh quickly so i think we're gonna do this side with the drainer so you guys can see the bulk of it and then this side will do with the typical diffuser attachment that we normally have so i'm gonna just get my blow dryer on because this might be a little bit challenging to be able to do just make sure it's gonna start it on super low heat and then we'll transition into cool so we're just gonna take some of the hair and kind of just like i guess cup it <laughs> into the drainer that looks so funny and then I'm just going to make sure that that's all there and we'll do this. And then with the blow dryer, I'm just going to turn it on a low heat, like I mentioned. And then we're just going to blow it on and let it dry for a bit. We're just going to do that on low heat. Going to turn that off. Oh, wow okay okay oh my goodness my hair is shrinking so much so now we're just gonna do that same thing and i think what i'm enjoying just from the start already is that uh the actual blower is never really directly touching my hair which i think makes such a big difference so i'm just trying to make sure that i get all that hair i have a lot of hair so i'm just cupping that in there hope you guys can see that taking my blow dryer on a low heat once again and we're just gonna blow it. Okay. 
Alrighty, so we're just gonna let that go. Oh, wow. I am loving how this is looking so far. So the bottom of my hair is definitely a lot drier. So now we're just gonna go right back and I'm gonna take this hair once again and just put it right back into the strainer. And now we're gonna go with cool air. And there I'm gonna focus a larger portion of my time. I'm just gonna put this on right in here, make sure that everything is cupped nicely and then now we are going to do the cool air and that i will hold for just quite a while so that it can take its form so just gonna do that and then press that cool button Alrighty, and I am just gonna let that go and this is where we are looking so far loving how we're looking i definitely one thing i notice when we do anything diffusing is that i feel like it low-key kind of changes the pattern of my curl because it like transforms it into like a whole different texture which is kind of like the only thing that i don't really like about diffusing my hair like for example i don't know if you can are, you're able to see but like my natural curl pattern just has more of like a curly versus the diffuser even the strainer kind of just pushing things up kind of makes them just like straggly it still looks nice but that is just one thing that i'm kind of like Mah, when it comes to diffusing the diffuser does the same thing to my hair which is why i typically don't really use it i prefer that my hair just air dry but for times when we need quick results and we need the hair to be dry especially on like really cold days diffusing is key so i'm gonna just leave this for just a little bit let it air dry a teeny tiny bit we're gonna move on to the other side i don't want this side to dry out on its own or at a different time pace we're gonna just use the attachment put that on to the blow dryer and kind of just diffuse as we naturally would. So just gonna start off once again on that low heat and just letting the air blow on it and then we'll transition into the cool air. the low heat not touching the hair at all just to let it dry up a little bit we're now going to transition into the cool air and now i'm just going to slowly start like bunching up the hair and actually putting it into the diffuser so that then we can blow dry it as we did with the drainer side so that's just what i'm going to do right now we're just going to turn it on all the way up high and cool air Alrighty, so this is the side using the diffuser. We're gonna remove the attachment. We're gonna go back to the draining side. And now here, I do just wanna be able to add a little bit of volume here. So I am going to just pick up this hair and really focus this in like up here kind of just like pushing it more that way so we can get some volume well obviously <laughs> this looks so funny we'll obviously like rake through the hair add volume run our fingers through it but once the hair is mostly dry so once again gonna go right back on with that cool air and we will just continue to dry the hair this is what takes the longest but that is what will drive the results that we want to see so just gonna get that going <laughs> Alrighty, so this is going to be the hair mostly all dry. Now for my favorite step, the raking. I love to go through it and just add some volume, kind of break things apart. So I'm gonna just do that for both and really just like running my hands through the roots starting from the bottom just to really add some volume but not touch the hair too much. So just gonna pass my hands through it and you're just gonna push it up kind of just like rake it let the hair get wild let the hair get crazy but also just get some volume on it i love to do that as like a final step so we're still looking a little flat right here but that is because this part is still wet honestly i'm like dude how much more time do you need on that portion of the hair so this is what we are looking like just gonna Kind of like I said, break those curls apart and allow it to really get some volume. Gonna flip the head over and just do that once more. Alrighty, so this is the final look and let's just look it over together. This is the diffuser side. 
So we have those really nice still tight curl patterns on the top. And then this is going to be the side with the drainer. So looking at them side by side, honestly, they don't really look much different. So I would say that the drainer works. If you have the drainer, definitely take that as an option to be able to do. But I feel like it works pretty much the same as the diffuser. And I feel like if anything, this side might just be a little less frizzy than this side. But that could also be that I have a lot more hair on this side versus this one as well. And I think I have a lot more um, of that honey product on this side as well too. But overall, the pattern kind of looks the absolute same. Would it be something I'd do again? Honestly, I think I'd just stick to the diffuser side, but it does work. So if you don't have the diffuser attachment, I think that's when using the strainer would probably be amazing because you probably already have it in your kitchen. You can use that for your hair and you don't need the diffuser uh, attachment but if you have it might as well use it I feel like it works the absolute same this was super fun I hope you guys found this helpful and if you are looking for a new way to be able to diffuse your hair by all means try this trainer why not thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video bye